Hi, my name is Dr. Dennis Wayanose, and uh, I'm a postdoctoral research fellow at the Trilateral Chair in Transformative Innovation for IR and Sustainable Development at the University of Johannesburg. And uh, I'm happy to be part of this conference, academic conference, second uh, African Philanthropy Academic Conference. I, as an emerging researcher, this conference has actually exposed me or provided me nuanced understanding in terms of uh, how to conceptualize African philanthropy. And this, I believe, is going to help me go a long way to uh, write good papers. You know, I received good feedback in the parallel sessions, and I believe uh, this is going to help me, for example, shape up uh, the paper that I'm currently working on, which is on uh, the barriers to civil society scaling and uh, capacity building in Liberia. This is a good conference, and I'm happy to be part of the conference. The title of the paper I presented is to the barriers to civil society scaling up and building their capacity in Liberia and then the role of trying to understand the role of philanthropy and uh, this conference has actually uh, provided me with methodological advice and uh, in terms of how to also conceptualize volunteering and uh, this is I believe is going to help me go a long way to uh, tighten up the paper for publication and uh, towards the book chapter which is coming up shortly. Thank you. So uh, as a student back in the University of Cape Coast in Ghana, uh, when I started a uh, uh, first degree in economics, I was always you know, motivated, you know, challenged to understand the different pathways or the different pathways to mobilize resources to achieve economic growth or sustainable development. And uh, one of the good ways or one of the ways is to, to conduct research. And then I, I, I felt going through the academic ladder, going through the academic way is going to help me you know, contribute in terms of uh, paper writing and in terms of policy. So going through the academic was one of the best uh, choice that I decided to make. And then when I got in there, I started my PhD at uh, CAPSI uh, at the Vid Business School as, at a very young age, at age 29. And then when I got in there, I was challenged as a young man, and then I wanted to complete my PhD in a record time. So there were a lot of you know motivations and lessons that, uh, uh, what things that I did to, to push me through uh, to finish at a record time. So one of the things was the, first of all uh, to work in a disciplinary manner. Okay, so what I did is that I work for long hours and then make sure it is consistent. And anytime I am also assigned to a supervisor, what I also do is that I spend some time to you know, read about the supervisor go through his papers and then try to understand the mindset of the supervisor, what kind of methodologies that this supervisor used. And I believe that was actually what helped me to be able to finish, you know, in record time. So one, I worked, you know, in a consistent manner, very disciplined. And then secondly, I also tried to, you know, understand the mindset of my supervisor so that I can work, you know, very well with a supervisor. So this is what actually helped me in, in, as a young researcher, you know, trying to navigate this academic journey and this is how far uh, I've come to. Thank you.